How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today we're going to be going over the tips and tricks. 10 tips and tricks for the Galaxy S6. One of the most anticipated phones of the year. And uh, we're just going to show you some cool stuff that you may or may not have already known. But it's going to allow you to enjoy your phone just a little bit better. So the first one is going to be found in our camera. Um, and um, basically it's the double tap. You probably already heard about this so I'm going to mix two into one. But uh, you're going to double tap your home button on any screen no matter what you're doing. It's going to automatically launch your camera. And here's a little tip. So you can tap mode to bring up your camera options and you can tap gallery here to bring up your last picture. Or you can simply when you're on your camera just swipe. If you swipe to the left it's going to take you to the last picture you took and it will allow you to swipe through your pictures. Or if we swipe to the, the other way, if we swipe to the right, it's going to take you right to your camera settings. So this is our first little tip. It's just a fun thing. Think about when you're holding the camera with one hand and you're, you're, you just took a picture of something. And you're like, hey, I want to see that. Boom. Really easy. Swipe. There's your picture. Makes things a lot easier. And the other way, oh, hey, I want to get this panoramic shot. No need to reach down here. Just swipe. And there it is. A quick switch. It's going to allow you to maneuver your camera a lot quicker and it just makes your life a little bit easier. Here's going to be our next trick. Also going to be found in the camera. This is going to be our palm to take a picture. And let me show you how this works. You want to make sure you're on your front camera. And what we're going to do here is just hold your hand up like this. And that's going to launch taking a picture. Really simple. Hand up. It's going to read it. You get two second timer. And there's our picture. And now I can just swipe. And there's our first tip and trick. Just like that. All right. So we've already gotten through two. We found the camera. We've got our swipe to see our last picture or our camera settings and our palm to take a picture. Now, here's going to be number three. Um, if you hold down on the screen. Okay, so this has to do with focus. This is a manual focus option which is also found on the Note 4 and they've just added it to the Galaxy S6. So depending on what you're looking at, um, you can actually adjust the lighting and the exposure of your picture. So for example, if I want my picture to be darker, I want to find an area that's light and I can just hold down. And if you notice, it'll actually um, adjust the lighting and then vice versa. If your picture is too bright, uh, excuse me, if, it, if it's too dark, you want to find a dark spot hold and it'll brighten it up and vice versa. So we just did it one way. Now I'm going to find a spot that's dark. To watch this doesn't work too well on the sheet so let's find something else to focus on here all right so for example we see our sheet here if I hold down this dark spot it's gonna brighten up the picture over here so watch this see that so it's gonna bring that exposure up and notice now right here you can't see the sheet that well and then down here if I want to make it darker I want to find an area that's really bright and I'm gonna hold down on there you see that so just by uh, holding down the screen in, in different spots, you can adjust what your camera is going to focus on and what it sees to really give you that shot that you're looking for. Now this does only work on the rear camera, it doesn't work on the front facing just so you know. Alright, to jump to our, our fourth tip slash trick, um, we're going to go to our home screen and this is going to be a nice little fun thing. If you pinch the screen and tap on screen grid, you actually have an option to control how many apps and how many rows and columns you have on your home screen. So for example, right now I have it set to four by five. So it's gonna be four columns and five rows, but I can switch and say, hey, I wanna put more on my home screen. So I can go five by five and now I added a whole nother column to my screen. So now I can actually do more on my home screen. Maybe you're the type of person that says, hey, I want to have a lot on my home screen. Then you want to go five by five. But you may say, no, I'm a simple person. I kind of want less. Less is best. Then you want to go four by four. Me, I'm kind of in the middle guy. I'm going to go four by five. And now that allows me to have a couple of things on there, but it not to look too cluttered. So this is going to be our fourth one, to be able to adjust your screen grid. And guess what? You don't even have to use a launcher anymore to do that. It's already built right into the operating system. Now, this is going to be tip slash trick number five. And so on the S5, if you wanted to bring up your multi window, which is to see two apps at one time, you would, um, you would hold down your back button. 
Well, they've actually changed that. So it's not the back button anymore. Now you're gonna actually hold on your recent apps button. So if I hold down here, it's gonna bring up our multi window. And so I can drag, I'm gonna tap messages and I'm gonna tap Chrome. And now that's how you use multi window. So slightly different, I'm gonna show you one more time. We're gonna hold down our recent apps button. And let's see, I'm gonna tap uh, music and I'm gonna tap uh, Netflix. And isn't that cool? Um, that's another cool little addition is now you can actually do Netflix and multi-window where on the S5, Netflix wasn't available. So that's even cool. They've added a lot more app functionality there as well. All right, our number six is gonna be a really fun little feature. And this is, um, it's called pinning an app. So let me show you how this works. Let's say you wanted, um, someone wants to, hmm, let me find a good example for you. Maybe somebody wants to use your phone. Oh, I need a timer. Okay. So what you want to do is open that app first. So I open, open my timer app and now I'm going to close it and I'm going to hold down on my recent apps. Oh, I'm sorry, not recent apps. You're going to tap recent apps. And now if you drag up and tap on the pin, you can actually pin this app right to your home screen. What does that mean? Well, you cannot get out of this app unless you know the secret command. So check this out, I'm gonna hit the home button. It doesn't do anything. This app is pinned to the screen. Imagine if someone says, hey, can I use your phone to make a phone call? Oh, sure. You could actually pin your phone app uh, right to the home screen. So guess what? If they try to close that and go look at your text messages, look through your pictures, they can't because it's pinned. I can double tap, I can triple tap. It's not gonna change it. So and the way to unlock it, you're gonna take two fingers, you're gonna have one on the recent apps, one on your back button, just like this. And now it's gonna, it's gonna take the app away from being pinned, but I have it set so that when I unpin an app, it automatically goes right to the lock screen. And guess what? Mine is locked with a fingerprint. So you can't even get in the phone until you put the fingerprint. And there we go. So this is, um, Again, tip number six, and this is how to pin an app to your home screen. Another great uh, opportunity to use this is if you have a game on your phone. For example, you may have um, uh, Sudoku, which is a fun little game. Remember, you're gonna launch the app first, close it, and then go to your recent apps, and then we're gonna tap that pin, and we're gonna pin it to our screen. So now, guess what? We're in it, but you can't get out of it. Hit the home button, doesn't do anything. Try to turn your screen off. It doesn't do anything. It's gonna keep you on this same screen because you're in full control. Two fingers, recent apps, and back button. It's gonna close it, and then you gotta put your fingerprint in order to uh, get back. So that's pinning apps, and that's a little privacy thing for those of you that don't want people snooping through your phone. Number seven is going to be how to open, let's see, if you use, you can use as a, oh, so this is a, another feature. Sorry, I had to read my notes there. <laughs> Sometimes your penmanship ain't that great, you know? Um, this is a feature that was taken from the Note 4, and basically this is how you can have an app open um, or have multiple apps open but floating on your screen. So let me show you an example of this. Uh, let's say I open up Milk Music, right? And then I close it. Uh, actually, let's see. Let's choose a different app for this. I'm going to do, um, let's do Facebook. It's not logged in, no worries. So I can actually swipe from the corner and I can actually have Facebook open as a pop-up on my screen here. And so I can open it up, tap the bubble. I can make it bigger so it covers the whole screen or I can shrink it down but it's still there. So now I can just move this little floating icon and guess what? I can open that up whenever I need to look at Facebook. So it kind of gives you a quicker access to that app. Um, and then you can also close it just that fast. So I can actually be in another app, for example, let's say I'm in my calendar and Facebook is still here and I can tap right over the calendar, open up Facebook, use it. And then I can just, shrink it right back down. So again, this is a feature, an older feature that was taken from the Note 4, but it just gives you a little bit more control over your apps. You can do some fun stuff. It does also support Instagram, which I love because I'm a big Instagrammer. 
So I'm just going to swipe from the corner. And notice, I can now have Facebook and Instagram open as both pop-ups on my screen here. So I've got those two open, so if I want to check them, I can get to them really easy. And now I can go over here and I can open something else. I can open, I don't know, CC Cleaner or Clean Master. And I can still tap Instagram right over it if I want to check really fast to see if someone's posted something or shrink it or close it just like that. So this is just a, a nice little app that allows you to have, it's not an app, but it builds into the operating system where you can have pop-ups of the apps you're using while you're doing other things. All right, tip number eight. Um, and this is actually, again, and this is not a newer feature. This is a feature that's been on the S5 and the Note 4, but a lot of people don't know about it, so that's why I'm going to go over it. With your camera, if we go to our settings, you can actually go to, uh, you want to turn on your voice control, and what voice control allows you to do is to control the camera just by saying certain commands. So, for example, if I say capture, it'll take a picture cheese it'll take a picture i can even say record video and it'll automatically start recording a video just like that so these are just some cool voice commands imagine if you have a group of your friends together and you're holding your camera trying, trying to take a nice big selfie all you have to do is just say capture and it's going to take the picture for you so it's a fun feature it's been on previous models and again turning it on is really simple just by going to our settings and making sure that our um, voice control is turned on all right, we're almost done here, guys. Number nine, um, this is going to be uh, another quick feature. Um, one thing that they've added to a lot of the newer, basically S5, I want to say S4 had it, um, but Flipboard Briefing. This is an app that you find on just about every Samsung now. It's either Flipboard or My Magazine, and some like it, some don't. If you're the type of person that doesn't really care for it, hey, that's okay. Let me show you how to disable it. It's just a matter of pinching your screen, and we're gonna swipe to the right, and uncheck the box just like that, and then swipe back, and now it's gone. And you won't have that um, Flipboard briefing. I like it, you know, it's cool to be able to stay up to date with articles and news and kind of customize it to what you like to read. So I like it, but everybody doesn't. So if you don't like it, hey, that's how you get rid of it. Now here's our going to be our number 10. Um, this is just more, this is a little tip. Um, they have added the flashlight to our notification panel. So now you do have a flashlight. Now you guys are going to probably find yours somewhere lower down here. I actually moved it so that it's all the way up here because I want to be able to get to it easier. So now whenever I swipe down, the flashlight is my first option right to the left, just like that. Oh, turn my screen down there. So that's just a, a nice little tip for you guys. Um, I, I used to always have my flashlight as a widget on the home screen, but no need for that anymore. It's just a swipe away and we've got light. All right. Guys, I hope you found this helpful. Um, there may have been some things here you already knew, but hopefully I showed you some things that you didn't know. And uh, again, hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to HG Tech Videos. And remember, have a good one.